Keisha. My name is Alkis. And my name is Putri. And, and we, we are, are from Love School Chibubur Senior High School. Today we are going to present about our research which is making facial serum using pendant and moringa extract. These are moringa and pollen leaves that we picked up from our backyards. That's how common it is in Indonesia, but it's mostly used as food ingredients only. However, after some research, we found out that these leaves actually have potential to be great beauty products as skincare ingredients. So why moringa and pendant? Well, moringa leaves are known to have a compound called phenol in them. And phenol is a compound that's known to have antiseptic properties and be a collagen inhibitor, which makes them have potential to be an anti-aging agent. And for pendant leaves, pendant leaves are known to have vitamin E in them, and vitamin E can help in skin regeneration as well as moisturizing. But still, with this potential, these leaves are still commonly used as food ingredients, which is a waste of potential. That's why we decided to make beauty products from these leaves in the form of facial serum. Okay, so how do we make it? I'll go first, but wait, I think I'll need more appropriate clothes. Okay, that is more like it. Okay, so first, you should cut moringa and pandan leaves into small pieces. After that, dehydrate those leaves using an oven and mash it into powder. We dehydrated the leaves in order to eliminate all water contents inside. Then, put 3 grams of pandan leaves, 3 grams of moringa leaves, and 3 grams of shea butter. The shea butter is used to smooth the skin with its anti-inflammatory properties. After that, start the distillation with 150 milliliters of ethanol. We used ethanol because it's an organic solvent. The temperature of our first drop of the serum was happened on 68 degrees Celsius and it started to drip constantly on 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that is how we made it. Next, my friend will take over for the test, result, analysis. Okay, I'm back. So, the tests we did were a pH test, an absorption test, and also a spreading test. The pH test we did using a, a universal pH indicator. The pH test concluded that our facial serum had a pH of 5, which is suitable to the pH of the skin. The spread and absorption test shows that the serum spread to a diameter of 2 cm in 10 seconds. The serum also absorbed well into the filter paper that we used. So those were the results of the test that we did to our facial serum. Now let's call my friend to take over for this one. In conclusion, the face serum that we made of moringa and pandan extract can be used as an alternative for face serum. Now let's call my friends back. And that concludes for our presentation. Thank, Thank you, you for watching! watching.